is such a huge milestone for this channel, y'all. And I have so many fun things to tell you. But first, I want to tell you a real quick story leading up to the title of today's video. So in my last studio, that's when I actually received this, this game in the mail that I backed in Kickstarter, on Kickstarter. And that game was Dwellings of Eldevale, which many of you know by now is the game that I have raved about nonstop. Here's the funny thing. I didn't back that game knowing how much of an impact it was going to have on me. I just backed it because honestly, it just it looked cool. And at the time, I only backed games because they had cool minis and the artwork was awesome. So when that game arrived at my doorstep, I had no idea the amount of impact that that single box was going to have. And it's funny too, because that game also sat on my shelf for like two months. I, I think what I was focusing on at the time was doing tutorials of Kickstarters that just come in. So as soon as the game comes in, I would do a tutorial and I would do a cinematic showcase at the time. I freaking call it cinematic showcase, but I look back and I, I can't even watch my old cinematics anymore. And then one day, actually, it wasn't me that wanted to play. Jackie actually initiated. She was like, is there any game on your shelf that you haven't played yet? You want to play one tonight? Let's play a brand new one. Like when she wants to play games then I really, really want to play games. Like I always want to play, but then when she wants to play, it's like triple the amount of motivation for me to learn a brand new game. So then I picked up the biggest game on my shelf at that time. And that one was the ones of Elderville. It was super tiny space. It was like, what, 10 feet by 10 feet space. I don't know. It was super small because I had to crawl underneath the table just to get the other side to film. And that was actually the first time I even revealed my face on camera too. So from there, we played our first game of dwellings. And then I realized like, oh, this one is fun. Let's play it again. Let's run it back. And we played, I think like three, four times that night. And then the next day, both of us were off of work and we just played nonstop. I think it was the weekend too. And we just played nonstop, like back to back to back. I meant like seven, eight games in a day because it was just so good. It was unlike anything that I've ever played before. It had elements, which I absolutely love. It had combat, which was amazing. That game filled in every single gap that we wanted to have in a game for both of us. And it was just so incredibly fun. And even the monsters and stuff too, we have so many laughs and memories of, of us playing around with those sound bases and just enjoying the game to its fullest. So of course, because I enjoyed it so much, I wanted to do a tutorial on it, which I did. And then I proceeded to film a cinematic showcase on it, pair that up with a review. And at that moment, it's crazy too, because it wasn't just how much I love the game, but it was also for some reason, it made me hit a, a filmmaking realization. It was at that point when I realized like, shoot, I know how to make my videos a lot better. I had one realization. And if you ever want to see the video about that, let me know. I can totally make a whole, whole video explaining what that realization was. But basically it took my videos from like enthusiast slash amateur level to professional level right after that. If you, if you look back on those videos, you can actually see there's such a stark difference, at least for me, at least I can see such a stark difference between videos before dwellings and videos after dwellings. The third and final piece of this puzzle was when the wolf pack was created by us. Once I started putting that logo up, people started commenting wolf pack. And that kind of just stuck as like the community name for this channel from then on forward. And it has been such a, such an amazing whirlwind that I cannot stop being thankful for. And it's been so freaking cool to see this brand just evolve from then on. And now it's gotten to the point to today's video. Y'all, the, the wolf pack is in a board game. And not just any board game. It is in Andromeda's Edge, the sequel to Dwelling. So do you see why this is such a pivotal, crazy, just mind blowing moment? Like I would have never thought that game arriving my doorstep was gonna be so impactful to the point where we are now, we as the wolf pack, as a community are now in the game. And not just any game, we were in Andromeda's freaking edge, you know? So it was just so exciting. It is such a great honor. I am obviously so very, very thankful to Cardboard Alchemy for, you know, even thinking about me and, and thinking about us, this community, and putting us into a playable faction in the game. But here's a very, very important thing. This faction isn't unlocked yet, and I need your help. So let's first talk about the faction and let's figure out how we can all help each other out to see if we can unlock this faction so we can get a crazy strong finish for this campaign. So first off, let's go ahead and reveal the faction. Introducing the Wolf Guardian Howlers, a promo faction for Andromeda's Edge. Now, according to the scriptures of Wolfguard, the moons are a mystical item of worship. 
But this ancient text has little bearing on the modern commercial lives of the Howlers. Engaged in a network of moon claiming and trade, the Wolf Guardians have been drawn to resource rich moons of the edge. Although they came for metals and profit, they also found much more to howl about. That is the epic lore for these wolves in space. Now, what else do they start with? They start up with one on the industry track, one on the commerce track, and their abilities, they have two. First one up is full moon. At the beginning of your turn, if you return to station, you may claim one moon of your choice from the discard pile. I mean, come on, wolves, moon, super fitting. The fact that they can gather a resource for free every single time they return back to station, that's already, that's already gonna be insanely good. Next one is Howl. Once per turn, on your turn, you may discard one of your moons, slotted or unslotted, to advance one space on a progress track of your choice. Now, I obviously haven't played this faction yet because it just came out, but having both Howl and Full Moon, so being able to utilize your resources every time you come back and being able to discard them in order to go up a progress track, that is unique to this faction. This faction has so much potential. You have the ability to literally discard your moons to go up any track you want. So if you imagine in Dwellings, right? You can go up any elemental track you want every single turn, once per turn. You're always gonna have a moon, right? So it incentivizes you to always visit the planet, gather some moons, and you can also get moons for free. You can utilize those moons to then go up all these tracks. So unlike any other faction, they can go up the progress tracks pretty much any time they want, and they can do this once per turn. That is insanely strong. Now it's not over yet because they have one more ability that we need to talk about, and that is the upgrade to their ships. They have the Fang. So these are the transport ships, which everyone has six of these ships for. And Fang's ability is Hunt. When you launch this starship to a planet, gain one victory point. <laughs> oh my God, it is honestly game over. It is, this faction is literally so OP and I am for it. I don't know about you all, but I really want this faction to be broken. I'm, here, I'm okay with that. I'm kidding. How sick are these abilities and how fitting and how thematic are they, okay? Every time you launch to a planet, boom, victory point. And then you also get a moon. You get to take that moon and you get to go up the progress track. So they just send out all these transports and they're constantly just out there gathering, scavenging, and really playing true to how the wolf pack would be. They don't travel as one, they travel as a pack. And speaking of pack, I need your help to unlock this faction. We need wolf pack to hit 1,000 likes on the Dwellings versus Andromeda's Edge video that I'm linking right here and in the description below. I have no idea how many likes it has yet, but I'm hoping that we can hit 1,000 by the end of the campaign in order to unlock this faction. And I cannot do that without all of your help. So please share this video. Make sure you sh get everyone to like that video so we can get it up to 1,000 if we do. We get to unlock this faction, not just for me, but for us, for what we have created together as a community. And it is such an epic moment that I really am so excited to share with you all. And like, I'm literally shaking from how excited I am from making this video. Oh, and also one more thing I forgot to mention. If you comment on that video that I'm linking down below in the description box, if you comment on that video, hashtag OP, as in overpowered, because we want this faction to be overpowered. If you comment hashtag OP with the wolf emoji so I know you are here because of this video. If you do that, you will be entered for a chance to win a free, all-in, deluxe, glorified copy of Andromeda's Edge on me. So I'm going to give away a deluxe all-in pledge to one of you that comments that in that video and help us get to 1,000 likes. Y'all, I know we can do it. I believe in us. That is just one small token appreciation for me. And of course, it's not gonna be a game that you can get right away, but I will pledge an extra copy for you and I will get it to your door as soon as the game comes out. So once again, thank you all so, so much for being a part of the Wolf Pack. I am so excited to, to share this moment with you all. Now, if you're on the fence of back in Drama's Edge or not, well, there's a little promo faction that you can, you can play as us now. You can play as me, you can play as the Wolf Pack, you can play as this community that, that we've grown together.
And of course, a huge, huge thank you to Cardboard Alchemy, the entire team there, everyone involved in, in getting this uh, to this point. Um, Sergio Chavez, of course, for doing the artwork, the epic artwork to show the wolf pack. That is insanely, insanely cool. And of course, to Luke and Maximus Lori for designing this faction to begin with. I cannot wait to get a game in with you guys. I'm so excited. And yeah, um, let's get to 1,000 likes and we'll, we'll go from there, yeah? So anyways, thank you all so much for watching, for hanging out, and I will see you all in the next one.